Third floor and upstairs. Good. Crank her up. So everybody that watched my video says, why are you putting a wall in front of the bay window? I said, because we want to have the nicest closet in the Adirondacks. <laughs> you walk in the closet, you got a nice bay window. No, I explained to people. I said, it's just a temporary wall to hold up the floor while we... Now you can take another picture and send it. Really hold up the floor. Let's see that sag. Let's see what that, that dump in the wall of the floor looks like. Yeah. That's the way you like it, huh? A little kinky. A little kinky. A little kinky and a little kinky. As long as it's not stinky. That's right down the line. How about you, Wes? Is that That's one as bent as it looks? Let me see that level. Yeah. Put that level on it. Yeah. Level? <laughs> no, it's just taking the pressure. Taking the heat? No, it's not taking the pressure. Oh. Go get one of your jack. Crank it up, yeah. Yeah, we took away our wall in front of the bay window because now we got it supported. We had to cut where these floor joists attach to the wall, which was not done properly in 1888, but we will fix it up. We got a header across the top attached to our new wall. So we have a double layer of insulation, insulation in here, and more insulation in here. It overlaps. And then we blocked the seven inches with three inches of blocking so the two by 12s will fill up that joist hanger completely. So we're going from crappy 1x7s to 2x12s plus these original 1x7s in joist hangers on a header on a wall supported in the basement by stone because you've got to transfer your load. Do it right. You're going to fill these joist bays either with fluffy mouse fur insulation or we're going to maybe put some foam in because we have some water problems here that I'll have to address after the upcoming snow storm. One's three and three quarters, one's three and a half. <laughs> oh, I didn't have a very good grip. Should be dry, you'd think, after 120 oh, years. Oh, it's not heavy. I didn't have a good grip. It's heavy. Yeah, I get some monkeys on the job, but they don't have proper opposing thumbs like we do. No, but they got They're close. But they got four hands. <laughs> and they like to the pick nits. Oh, I know, I just didn't know how well they... Yeah, they nailed them. You never know in this friggin' junk construction. Hey, oh, they friggin' nailed that, huh? Mm -hmm. They must have brought their kids to work that day because kids love putting lots of nails in. That is great. It's funny because it's round nails, wire nails, not square nails like some of the construction. Beautiful. Fire. <laughs> I won't submit that to OSHA. Yeah, that's all right. We've done that many a times. It's not bad if you're only on one ladder. I'm going to be shipping off this firewood to The Hague. i got a friend of mine that burns it. He collects scrap firewood. No joke. I'm going to ship it to him. Right down on it. Better hurry up, the battery's just about to die. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I love that sound. There, I'm just going to put a first class mail stamp on that and off it goes to the Hague. My friend can heat his house now. <laughs> I'm not joking. His name is Dutch Urban Miner and he collects scrap in the Hague. If someone's building something new or scrapping something, if someone's building something new, there's somebody scrapping something. So that's what he does. He goes around collecting junk metal and junk wood and makes little fires in his house and keeps this himself warm. Yeah. Figures the battery went dead and hit a wire and <laughs> I missed it. There it is. The red wire. No, it's just a paint line. 
Anyways, we don't need to stick in. We'll just give them some solar, a solar heated hot water tank. That'd be good enough. I'm trying not to hit it. Here, take that finger out of there, yeah. Yeah, it's just because they had it on the exterior wall, but I'll have to pull those wires up. Oh, they got conduit in right there. Yeah. Oh, they got to slide that thing up with a screwdriver, which I happen to have in my hand right there. Some good weight to push down real good on that corner. Got good woods cracking sounds. I'm gonna put that on eBay. <laughs> That's a special jump. That's a beautiful piece. Special jump? Yeah. It's modern art. Makes no sense at all, but it will in a couple hundred years. All right, take this last one out. Yep. Beautiful. Going the wrong way. Going uphill. Uh, it's holding that one. That one's holding that one. I'd leave that one. Yeah. That one's holding that one. Yeah, we leave yeah. that one. We put a new one right beside it. Let's want to drive. We gotta cut it. We'll still cut. We'll cut it after we get our other ones ran through here. More well. Oh, we're done with the wood noises. Put it. Could you hammer it back up and then creak it down again? <laughs> Sorry. Now we're trying to figure out what these friggin' wires do here. Two hot water tanks with a red wire and a white neutral. Really weird. Yeah, I'll figure that out now. There, Jay, now we can start making joystick. Yeah. We can still start set up outside. Cut some square ends. What was the length you said you got to have?